All right, good morning. Today's job, it just eased up a little bit raining. I got the skid steer warmed up. We gotta get the truck loaded with this dirt. They did a septic system here. I'll show you at the top of the hill. It's like one of the very few parts of town that's open and that's because of the marsh. Um, it's on the 6A side of Cape Cod. Everyone thinks that Cape Cod is a sandbar, but what they don't realize is billions of years ago or whatever, when the glacier formed the Cape, it jumped all the nastiness on the north side. It's all slippery, nasty clay. Uh, um, there's some blue clay. So everyone thinks we're on a sand sandbar but we're not really a hundred percent it's a rare part of town where the marsh is there and the houses are not on top of each other see that right there that's a big clay ball it's nasty guy that was here yesterday backfilling he bucketed with the skid steer all the junk clay down here and I'm gonna remove it um, he made this ramp which was cool because I could have went up at like a loading dock I could have went into there and got a bucket backed out went up like a loading dock and then load myself but I could not get up this ramp the rain is supposed to stop, so we might be able to get up it later, but they have to have this out of here today. Otherwise, you know, we would obviously not work in the rain or work in this, but you can see this morning where I was trying to go up there and I was just sliding, uh, just spinning the tracks. So that's as far as I got. See it right there? This is nasty stuff. And there's a part of this town where they used to make bricks a long time ago. You can look it up, it's called Barnstable Brick Co. The driveway is already like crumbling, but I don't wanna, I guess they're gonna stone over it because the, the owner's selling the house, but I don't wanna rip it up anymore. I got the heat pumping in here. But this is, this is like, see I'm trying to look up as I'm going. Let's uh, back up here. Don't want to bump into anything. So I'm like halfway up. I'm just gonna get a scoop. Even if I can get like a couple loads out. Just switch the auto tilt bucket on but this is what we're looking at see you look out the front you just see the body so I gotta look out the window that's why I needed it to defrost more give it a little shake because it's mud curl all the way up make sure the booms all the way up and then back up all right Okay, so I, I started digging out of here. So I didn't want to keep driving in that puddle because the rain is not stopped and it, it's still washing down the hill. I can see some of it coming down there. So I'm just gonna avoid the puddle, leave it alone, and just keep coming out of here, turning and dumping into the truck. Give it a little shake. I mean, we're just guessing here because I can't see. What I do is once the bucket sounds like it's uh, not hollow, but it, it's 
got more of a lighter banging sound. See? Still a bunch stuck in there, so. I'm gonna keep doing that, and then we'll just keep digging in here because this is the driest spot I have. As you can see, this is the area where they put the clay. Not saying my load was as bad as the stuff that was here. I mean, a little bit of sand and this fill wouldn't have been bad, you know, this, this clay. Nice. All right, I've done two loads. Sun's starting to come out. And uh, the driveway is starting to dry up a little bit. Uh, it's it's a muddy mess, but it won't stop raining. It's it's been raining for like I don't know, off and on for like days. So I don't really have much of a choice. And it rained while I was gone. Look at the tracks, full of water. Boots are not mud friendly. All right, I got the truck loaded. Um, I know what you're thinking. Why didn't we use an excavator to load this and just sit in one spot and load it? Trust me. We thought of it There's another pile of this crap up over the hill on the other side uh, It's not a huge pile, but it's up over on the other side So this one here is what he was using yesterday to bucket all this material down here Going back and forth with an excavator bucket would be ridiculous. The trucks obviously won't go up that hill um and all the excavators large enough to load it into a truck are on other jobs. So that's why we're using this. Um, it is what it is. This really sucks because it's starting to rain again. When I did that rainy day trucking video last year, <laughs> that's the place. It's all done. Yeah, 40 on that speed limit sign, but it's downhill. Let's disturb the peace. Watch how long I can run this out.
quite the incline. It doesn't look like an incline, but you can tell it's an incline when you can run a gear out with the Jake on all the way down to the bottom like that. That's a long incline for a road that looks flat. They are screening that pile again for some reason. I don't know why. Must have got contaminated with something. Not environmentally unfriendly. I mean, like, if it's supposed to be screened sand and someone dumps a load of sand that has rocks in it, it's, it's contaminated now with rocks. The last load, I didn't give it a banger. I might try to give it a banger on this one. That was a good sized load. Clean the spill plate off. Okay guys, that was Friday. Now Saturday was a little bit different because the place I was dumping at, they are normally open till noon, but because of all the rain that we've been having, they decided not to open up on Saturday. And the other thing is my SD card messed up on me and I also decided when he asked me to bring my skid steer to finish loading the mud because he needed his skid steer on another job, um, I opted to bring my mini excavator with the cleanup bucket instead because I thought it would be better to cut down on the tracking around because the tracking around is what's dragging the mud all over the place. So here's Saturday. Thank you for bringing us the SD card. Love you, you're the best. Bye bye. Mud City, here we come. Uh, yeah. Even though I tried to bang it off, I even took this and brushed it off. It's still, I mean, I don't have a boot brush on this truck yet. I got one ordered, but we're gonna need a bath. Let's, uh, get out of here. Quick little pit stop. We had to come this way anyways, so it doesn't take up that much time. I like the head cam because you guys can get some truck footage and uh, I don't have to hold the camera or get in trouble. kind of sucks because this yard is leaning this way so I had to like back in a little bit till I found like a happy spot but that little bit don't want to come out it's moving like a snail This, just, this, look at this flowing water. I don't know if you can see it flowing, but this was bleeding out of there. I mean, we're gonna have to take the pressure washer to everything once we're done. I will say this, I'm extremely happy with my choice to bring the mini excavator with my big cleanup bucket. Um, I call it the dustpan. I got it from an equipment place, a uh, used equipment place. I was sitting out back, I bought it for 150 bucks. It needs a bunch of work. Uh, it's it's all floppy and everything. Uh, I retrofitted it to this machine. It was supposed to be on a 307, Cat 307. It's a little floppy. People make fun of me because it flops around, but what they don't understand is it fits, it follows the grade perfect. So like it's it's not worth fixing it because 
it does such a good job. I mean, you put it down and you don't have to tilt it. It does it on its own. But you see how like this bucket is upside down compared to the skid steer bucket, it empties itself. This machine for what we're doing is way better than the skid steer. Unfortunately, that's all that was available at the time. But when he asked me if I would finish this up for him, I decided I definitely gonna use the mini because um, you're getting rid of that that bucket is four feet wide I believe um, you're getting rid of all of that I mean this machine's not the fastest machine but the cycle time is uh, pretty good I mean we're gonna have to wash the truck anyone that's ever loaded mud knows it, it just gets all over the truck like don't try to be neat because you're just gonna waste time. It's just either you be okay with your truck getting dirty or, or don't do the job, like that's that's it. But um, the cycle time of the Mini, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to, uh, I mean, I'm gonna swing this way again, but I'm gonna reposition actually. I haven't had to move too much. You know, I'm okay with going over the side. I just don't like to be that close to the cab. But I think I've moved since I've hauled out, um, I don't know how many loads it's been, two or three. See, it just falls, it's just mud. But look at that, you know, four foot bucket, skid steer bucket, six feet. You know, it's an extra two feet wide. I mean, it's hard to tell from inside the cab, but that is like a wide, big bucket. So, it's uh, emptying, it's emptying itself completely out, whereas the skid steer bucket was not emptying the whole bucket. So, and you had to back up, you were tracking the mud all around. I've been limited uh, movement here with this machine because it's got a pretty good reach for a mini. I love this thing. It's not it's not super fast. Everyone always wonders what it is. It's a Komatsu PC40 MR-2. I don't know why it's a MR-2, but I will say this. I used to, before I had this machine, I used to rent a Komatsu PC50 and I'll be honest with you, I can't I can't tell the difference. They, um, they both fit on my trailer the same. They they both reach the same, so I don't know. It's probably something minute, something very small, like maybe it has a like a slightly bigger hydraulic pump or something, but I've been so happy with this machine. It's not super fast, but boy is it smooth. tip it on edge if you if you have to you know like that if you wanted to really scrape a little and it just floats along all right this is a mess oh my god but at least I'm not tracking out here like yesterday with the skid steer. I, I'm just like moved a couple little spots. All right, I forgot to turn the camera on because I'm kind of in a hurry. I want to get done with this, but I had to use his brand new 325. The thing is brand spanking new. Uh, I just wore the wore the paint off the cutting edge. Sorry, James, but like literally. That's the digging bucket, so brand spanking new. But I had to move that pile because, and I had to dig this down because I was leaning way too bad. So I had to dig this down just so I could, you know, dump without tipping over. Even that, I'm still leaning a little bit, but it's not that bad.
have to put a muffler on it. Don't want to scare Karen. All right, I tried to back in a little bit. This is still too high and I'm still leaning too much. So I hate to do this to the poor guy, but then again, he don't care. Machine's a machine to use, but I'm leaning. I don't know if you can see the way I'm sitting now, but I'm leaning too much. And the problem with leaning when you have mud on is mud is sticky. So a lot of times guys tip over um, because the stuff's stuck in the nose. We'll dump it on an angle. You must have the heated seat on. My derriere is getting toast hay. is if I just leave it like that separate he can see it they can throw some sand on it and mix it around Sun's coming out. The stuff's actually not that bad now. I'm, I'm telling you, like I was telling James, a little bit of. Don't be nervous. A little bit of sand. You cut this with a little bit of sand. There's no rocks in it. I think this entire pile. This will be load. Actually, I don't know because I didn't keep track. I did Thursday. I did. Let's see. I did five loads Thursday. Uh, probably four loads today. This, this is probably like the fourth load, and I so that's what nine loads. So what's nine times twenty? A hundred and hundred and eighty yards. Only saw like one rock. Maybe one. Maybe like one rock, and then one one brick. Uh, banana block from the old pit just one in this whole pile we were supposed to get a load of stone today to fix the driveway I don't think that's gonna happen because the stone place is closed seriously you gotta be kidding me Cape Cod man if you don't like the weather just wait 10 minutes it'll change That's the last load for here. The sand that I scraped up to make level, I threw on top of there. Stuff already looks better. All right, so I don't know if you can see. I'll put the swale back through here. They're coming back here, the other guys. But my job is done. I got the fill pile out of here. I sprinkle a little, little sand in here to try to tighten this up. Um, put the swale back here because it does work. He, he says the water, you can see it. it right here. You can see it running down from there. Comes through here and then it'll go out that way instead of the driveway. Then over there where the 
truck made a, r a rut. It pushed up a ridge and the water couldn't get out. I just brought the machine over there and I just cut an opening and the water is draining out into the low area um, where it normally drains out. But all right, that's going to be it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is uh, my part is done. So I'm out of here. Thank you.